You got to try this. Look at our fish is ready. You see. Beautifully grilled. Oh yeah, we did this in the UK and you can do this too, nice and easy. Look at this barracuda, perfectly smoked. Now we started with freshly bought fish and this is one of the reasons I wanted to do this because I know how fresh the fish is. To prep it, I gave this fish a good clean, took out all the gills, took out all the guts and made sure it was nice and clean. And next, we had to use the skewers. Now, skewers are optional, but to start with, I had to cut some up. I wanted to grill some easily cut, so it's easier that way for us to use it on the go. This is all meal prepping, isn't it? Part of it. So we go ahead and we put some skewers in the middle of the fish. Now, the skewers help keep it from bending when it's grilling. But to be honest, this is quite a firm fish, so it's not essential, but... I see a lot of people do it and the market people also use it so I thought why not do the same. Thankfully we had a lot of the metal ones. I prefer the metal ones, they're easier to get out. We use them for barbecues in the summer so it was there, why not use it. So prepping the whole fish is not so difficult and now I wanted to do this market bending style. Ah, I tried, it, it just didn't work. <laughs> I struggled with it. I've seen a lot of people do it and I like the shape but it doesn't make any difference to the out outcome does it really so guys after prepping this fish this was a whole box of fish so there was a lot of fish in here what i did was i just kept a few fresh ones and then we grilled the rest now guys you love smoked mackerel you buy in the supermarket for like four pounds yes this is so easy to do stop spending money buying this thing you just need to fillet it like i did and then add a little bit of seasoning and once you've seasoned it, you can even do this in your oven. It comes out perfect. The texture, the taste is even better than the shop bought ones. And best of all, you control the flavor. My kids love this in salad. So I'm just giving you a little hint. Now we had other fish I'd already prepped previously. And I also wanted to smoke the salmon head. I don't like salmon in my stews or whatever. But my husband loves salmon head. So... I have to make sure I have it there for him. So that's the reason. I'm not, I have nothing against people that love fish head. But I just find there's a lot of work. Guys, leave a comment in the comment section. People eating fish head. Isn't it a lot of work to sort the fish bones out and the eyes and whatnot? Anyway, that's by the way. Now I'm going to season it with salt. This is entirely optional. But this is what I want to do. Just a little bit of salt. Sea salt. Salted sea salt to be precise. It's just giving us a little bit of that natural flavoring and that's all we're using for the main smoking of the fish. Okay. Now what I do with these ones that I chopped into small bits, okay. I'll just show you. I use a pan. This is like a grill pan. I have them put in here. That way I don't need to turn it all over the place like when it's on the, smoke, on the smoker. Because if you have to do that, then you end up with fish that's scattered and not as... The way you want it so this is one little thing i do just to save me the hassle now we also salt our barracuda and we had barracuda is the night you know the way we do the nigerian dried fish yeah that's barracuda one of our favorites back home now making the fire i'm trying to use all natural as usual non-chemically treated and do you know what coconut shells do the fantastic job in starting your fire and sustaining it and also i also had palm fronds <laughs> funny thing eh now the fire is ready. Can you see the look? Can you see the red smoke, the red flames? Okay. Now we're putting this fish totally far away from the fire. The drum is an oil drum. So the fish is in the corner. The fire is in another corner. We are smoking in direct heat. We're not putting it directly onto the fire. Now you cover this. This drum I actually DIY'd. It was just easy to buy a drum on eBay, a food Two safe drum. Thousand years and, yeah. later. and we cut it up and we use it for this purpose. Now look, a few hours later, this is just about over two hours. See how beautifully smoked this fish looks and honestly, ah the smell the taste was already there but we had to go ahead and add more flame to the fire so we added more wood and we added more you know um lump wood as well so we used coal and wood just to increase that flame and look at this one <clears throat> he wanted to try it at all means and he just loved it right nice. very nice <laughs> can so you see that guys, like you you have no idea 
Can you mm. see? I also had to taste really, it. Really, really tasty. It was really nice so here. At this point, this you can up. actually use it, oh, but we wanted it a little bit firmer. We wanted it a little bit more, you know, strong so that it doesn't break apart this in our easy. soup. He kept asking for more. I had to literally kick him out of my kitchen at this point because ah, this fish will finish before we even preserve it. So we always do this every sort of three months. We buy, go to the fish market. Yeah, he's telling you guys to try this <laughs> on his own. We go to the fish market and we buy Two a box of thousand fish. Years later. So we put we put everything back on the smoker again and that is our smoked fish. That other one is filet fish that is really, really nice. Okay. And look, everything looks perfectly smoked. Even the barracuda, everything was nice and ready to take out of the fire. In total, it's about eight hours we spent on the smoker. Towards the end, as you can see, the heat was literally gone, but it was still able to keep smoking and cooking. You could smoke this for longer, but guys, we don't want to smoke this to oblivion. And yes, yeah, some will argue that smoking is not that good for you, but you know what? Smoking is a method our ancestors have used for centuries to preserve food. And I'm not doing this with, you know, chemically treated wood. I'm not smoking it, like I said, to oblivion. We're not adding any artificial ingredients here. It's just fish and smoke. And so I think this is safer. Yes, there's research showing smoking in general is harmful. If my ancestors did it, guys, I think it's safe and they didn't have this high levels of chronic diseases and cancers. That was also because their lifestyles were better. So when you're eating all this animal protein and smoke food, whatever, even if it's natural, try and improve your health by, you know, exercising, being a bit active. This is my little pep talk. Guys, you know, I've come through a journey of being chronically ill. Now I healed naturally and I showcase what are the things I did in my journey? A lot of it involved taking it into my own hands. So take your health into your own hands. So I'm just showing you how well this fish has smoked. Look at the barracuda looking perfect, perfect. And guys, if you don't eat fish, it's fine. Okay, I eat very little fish. <laughs> if I tell you how many times a year I eat fish, but the flavor it impacts into cooking is really nice. So I hope you've really enjoyed this video. If you have... <laughs> thumbs up thumbs up tell me what you think you'd like to see next the diy things i do in my home how we meal prep how we preserve food and how we ensure that we're eating natural safe foods okay to improve our health and to keep us away from sickness thank you thank you thank you look at that fish ah this is gonna cook nice native jollof this weekend yes jollof rice is not bad but try and add vegetables when you eat your jollof we eat everything and you see this one the filet smoke this is one of like the best things i do with mackerel the boys love it we add it into salads we also use this to make like things like couscous or quick meals it's really handy and so delicious guys you can do this in the diaspora once in a while once in about three or four months saving yourself a lot of money if you buy smoked fish you can tell you're saving so much money and it's not that bad thank you and bye